All right, here we go. So often I have clients just kind of ask me, well, what do you do on walks? Well, here's what I do on a walk. I'm lucky to live right by a elementary school, and so I use this a lot for just some obstacle training. Now, kind of my goal with this is just to show people how something so simple you can turn into a lot of commands. Now, remember that your walks really should be about your dog and like hanging out and building a relationship and having awesome moments and taking cute pictures. Hey, that kind of sounds like a date. Exactly. That's qu- that's because hanging out with your dog should be kind of like going on a date with a friend or, you know, your significant other. You want to make sure that you're spending some time building that relationship. And so here I am working with Ghost, my pup, and Rogue, who's a foster, who is super cute, by the way, and is up for adoption through Canine for Keeps. So look out there if you are looking for a forever pup. This gal is actually pretty awesome. So my sessions don't really look perfect they're never perfect and so our dogs are not perfect i'm not perfect and so hopefully just looking at some of the things i do in this video will kind of help people get creative and give them some guidance as to stuff that they can do with their dogs as you can see right here i haven't even paid attention and rogue is has broken her sit stay now i actually later on realized it was because it was a fly oh there she is she's like i'm gonna get you fly i get you i get you fly so i'm like all right cool i caught you come over here sit please for me Come on, you can do it. Yes, that's a good girl. Ghost is like, I'm confused. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. So I'm coming back to him. And of course, Rogue is like, shake, shake, shake. Nope, I broke my sits today again. So I'm like, all right, Rogue, let's do this again. There you go. Good girl. All right, Ghost, we're back to this. Good job, Roji. Stay there. Just kind of reminding her to stay. Just keeping an eye on my drone. So my brain is working at all kinds of heights. Oh, Ghost, yep. You can see his athleticism right there. And sometimes it's just straight up hard to tell if he's just being lazy or if he's just like, you know, in pain or he's just like, this is stupid. So I'm like, all right, Rogue, come back into your sit. There you go. Good job. Thank you. Ghost is doing a pretty good job at, you know, being lazy and not coming up to me and Rogue. All right, but let's try this again. You can do this. He's like, ah, this is really as far as I'm going to go. I know, mom. This is going to do him. No, can, are we done? Can you, oh, fine, I'll sit. So I'm like, all right, fine. Just hang out there for a second. Then there's these children that got rogue distracted, which is fine. Honestly, that's part of life. So I'm like, all right, girly, let's let's get through this. I hook her from her little post here. All right, Rogue is ready. No, she's not ready. There you go, good girl. It's like children, children. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see the children. Good job, goosies. So right there, I call him over because there's obviously now loose children. Where is their mom? Where is their leash? So I'm like, all right, Ghosty, come here, buddy. Rogie's very excited by them, which, like I said, it's just life. Good boy, Goosey. Look at how handsome he looks. Mom, can I have some food? I'm rewarding right there the fact that he came to me. Remember, try to always reward more of those recalls than not. Good girl, Rogie's. You got this, my girl. There you go. I got this. I got this. I can do this. I could do this. I know it. Good job. I'm going to hook her onto this little rail over here. Good girl. Because, you know, safety. All right, Goosey. Let's see what we can, what we can do. I'm like, all right. You know what? You're going to trip over this leash just because that's just kind of the stuff that you do. And I don't need another vet bill. So we're just going to go ahead and take this off and toss it over there. Rogie's just excited by the children. So I'm like, all right, Ghosty, hang on. Hang tight there. We're going to put Rogie back in her little spot here. I'm sorry, mother. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. I'm trying. All the children. There you go. Good girl. You got it. I believe in you. You got this. Good job. Good job, Goosey. You're staying there. Good job, buddy. So we're actually trying to work on his body awareness. And I'm trying to get him to back up here. But as you can see, we're still working on it. And he's just kind of not coordinated at all. So I'm like, all right, we're, we're just not going to do that. You're going to hurt yourself again. And like we said, we don't need any vet bills right now. We're on COVID financial status. So we cannot not afford that. So let's not do that. So I'm like, all right, let's do it the other way. Roger's doing a pretty good job. She's like, look at me. Look at me. I can do this. I can do this. Children, though. There's just the children. Good girl, Roger's. I know. They're right there. Good job. How about you sit for me? Good job. Again, she got excited by them. And these children are just kind of sitting on this and kind of antagonizing, so it doesn't help. But like I said, you can take kind of jerk children and just use them as a distraction. They were also kind of excited about the drone, so I'll give them that. So I'm like, all right, just chill there. It's okay, Roji. I'm trying to wait for a touch in there. 
So yeah, like I mentioned, my sessions are not perfect, and this is just how we continue to build focus. This is something that Rogue really, really struggles with, just keeping her attention on things when there's not something moving, or, you know, even just any kind of mild distractions is hard. So right here, I just went back and put her to downstay, because downstays are hard, especially outside. Trust me, your dogs would much rather be doing anything and everything else rather than holding a downstay. So it does take a lot of impulse control, except for Ghost, because he's just lazy at that point. And it's also hot, so he's like, yeah, screw this. So I'm just bringing him back up here. These kids are just kind of hanging out because I get it. They're kind of amazed by my drone. So they're, you know, just kind of looking at it and messing around. So I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and have them sit. I'm going to collect my drone. And then we'll head out to our next location. But yeah, this is kind of what my walks look like, guys. And hopefully videos like this can help you get creative and go out there and look for little obstacles that you can conquer with your dogs. Happy training.